<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name's Steve and today I'm going to cook some spicy stir-fried squid. This dish is a Korean dish. It's called Ojing or Bokum. That's Korean for squid stir-fry. And if you're wondering why an Australian guy is cooking Korean food, that's because my wife is Korean and she introduced me to the wonderful world of Korean cuisine. If you like this video, please subscribe. We've got plenty more content coming in the future. Thanks guys. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is cook some rice. What ingredients have I got? I've got an onion, two carrots, a quarter of a cabbage, four spring onions. I've got some gochujang, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic. I've got a tablespoon of gochugaru. I've got a tablespoon of brown sugar. I've also got a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm gonna put in a little bit of sesame oil and I've got my squid tubes here. I wish I could say I caught these squid tubes, but unfortunately I had to buy them from the local fishmonger. But that's good, support local economy and uh, we get nice fresh produce. All right, I'll mix these all up. I'll add my sugar and my gochugaru. Now add my soy sauce and a little bit of sesame oil. Mmm, looks tasty already. Now that my marinade paste has been prepared, I'll start to prepare my squid. If I had a whole squid, I would use the tentacles too, but today I've only got tubes, so I'm just gonna cut them into different size shapes. Okay, I'm going to stir fry all my veggies first. So I should probably explain at this point that this recipe is a fusion meal. It's not really a dedicated a Korean style. I'm just um, Pretty much just making it up as I go, but following a Korean uh, recipe, following a Korean style. I can imagine my mother-in-law is now watching this thinking, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, these veggies have uh, softened up really well. I'm going to put my squid in the middle. And I'll add my marinade paste at the same time. Yum! So for some reason in Australia, squid really isn't all that popular compared to like fish and chips or, or fish or crab. When we do get squid in Australia, it's usually heavily salted, heavily peppered. Even when I was a kid, as I grew up, I used to catch squid. I'd often catch them, but I would never really cook them. I'd always use them for bait or give them to my friends. And nowadays, when I go fishing, I try to catch squid more than I do fish. Since having this meal, it showed me that squid is a really versatile meat 
and it's actually super tasty. As the cabbage cooks and the squid finishes cooking, you do get that lovely juice start to come out. Okay, I'm going to call that done. Squids, squids are pretty funny meat. You don't want to cook it too much. I think it's just cooked, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to plate that up and we'll see how it looks. So flavorful, guys. This is probably my favorite way to eat squid. Voila, there we go. Ojigo Bokum. Korean stir-fried squid. So my wife Minnie, she's supposed to be doing the taste test, but I can't wait. Mm. So good. The squid is so tender. Cooked it just perfect. Okay, time for taste test. Ooh, Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you, Steve. Mmm, mm. like a tender, mm. just a perfect tender, nice. like a beef. Mmm, mm. so good. Very good. You have to cook! Mm. Hi guys, you have to try some Ojinga Pokum. So nice! Mm. Don't forget to subscribe to us and show our own! Thank you! Bye! Mm. <laughs> so, guys, we have a variety of content. We don't just do cooking videos, we've also got videos about uh, interviews and life in Australia. Uh, all different type of content. So if you are curious about our life in Australia, you want to know any information, just write a comment and we'll give you some answers. We may even make a future video uh, depicting one of your questions. So thanks guys. Take it easy. Thank you. Bye. Bye.